been a busy day already. Um, let's see, it is 1.30 in the afternoon and I got up and got going at five, got my Bible study done, got some work done, and then the boys got up, got them ready actually in a decent amount of time. And then we went to the meat shop and got some meat because I wanted to get some groceries. We have another storm coming. This is like, if you have school in New England, you probably miss school like seven times this year. So everyone's going to like July. Anyway, so, I've got a little boy in the background playing. Um, so anyways, I wanted to go to the meat shop and get my groceries there because this is $150 a week. If you guys have watched me in the past, I um, I kind of go off of Budget Boot Camp. I, um, her name's Jordan Page. She's really awesome. Check her out. I'll link her below. Um, and she has a really awesome budgeting program and budgeting system she uses. And there's a special part about groceries. So it basically goes $100 per person per month. And you can do it. Um, I say that carefully because she does buy some processed food and things like that, but I think it is doable. It's just, it's, you have to be very strategic about it. So with that being said, um, we buy meat from the local butcher. We know him. He's a really great guy. He's, it's like a family run business. I know that where my meat's coming from, which I really like because I've done some research about meat and things like that and actually food in general. Um, so anyways, I went to the butcher shop, got all the way there and forgot my wallet. So I had to turn around, go back, get my wallet and then go back. Luckily it was like five minutes away. So it's good. Then I went to work, actually dropped the boys off. Then I went to work. Then I went grocery shopping. And so I spent $50 at the butcher shop and a hundred on groceries. Um, so this is my $150 week and next week is a $50 week where I fill in the gaps to make uh, meals and food that I need. Now some weeks I do go over, um, not usually under, but what I do is I take from like what I'm allowed, what I'm allowed to spend, what I spend on like personal items. And anyways, that's kind of into the budget boot camp stuff. But it's worked pretty well for us. Helps keep me on a budget because I love food and I literally could buy like $300 worth of groceries and not blink an eye and none of it would go bad. I'd make sure of it. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you what I got. And then I actually, actually, I actually have a, um, like a clothes haul. I got some stuff that was on sale at Walmart I wasn't planning on getting and I only spent like $45 and got a bunch of stuff. So I will share that with you as well. So here's the food to start with. All right guys, so I spent, like I said, not including this nice toy here, I spent a hundred, it was actually a hundred and probably forty dollars. I think I got forty-seven dollars worth of meat and then I got ninety-two dollars or something worth of groceries. So let's get right into it. Um, I got some meat, I needed some crock pot meals this week. When I looked at our schedule, I noticed that we had a lot of stuff going on at night. So I got a bunch of stuff to do crock pot. So I got some stew meat. Um, these I could do in the crock pot. They're like boneless beef ribs and they're kind of tough. So if you do them in the crock pot, they'll get a little softer and um, with liquid and things like that. A pork roast. This is kind of a splurge. These are on the more expensive side, but they're so good, you guys. They're wicked good. Um, but my husband loves these, so I got two packs of these. Um, but there is a decent amount in here, believe it or not. I buy the deli meat that he makes himself. It goes bad quicker because there's less preservatives in it, so I only buy three-fourths of a pound. But my boys will eat a ton of this. I'll eat it. My husband uses it for lunch meat and things like that. I got a pork loin. Um, they did have already seasoned ones, but it tends to be a little bit less if you just get the plain. So I did get a plain. Um, their pork is really inexpensive and again, really good. So this whole thing was only $3.73. So anyway, I get their pork a lot. Um, and then this is on special. And same thing, this can be done in the crock pot. I thought all these could pretty much be done in the crock pot, so that was nice. I won't need like eight meals worth, but anyway. Um, I got a watermelon because I just love watermelon and they had them. So hubby needed deodorant. And then I got a bunch of, these are only a dollar each, so I bought a bunch of these. Um, basically just because I had some extra money because I know we're going away at the end of the week to spend on things that won't go bad. So I got some extra veggie stuff um, to put in the freezer. I also got sweet potatoes. I eat sweet potatoes a lot. I kind of cook them all up at the beginning of the week. Not all of them maybe, but a bunch. And then put them in the oven. Um, we go through apples like it's our job. And same with bananas, in all honesty. Go through tons of bananas. Um, my husband likes the honey wheat and I like whole grain, so I got some of that. But I think I might bake some bread tomorrow because it's supposed to snow and all that stuff. And I can borrow my sister's 
um, what do they call it, those KitchenAid mixers. So I think I might do some baking tomorrow. Um, let's see, I got this. I make um, like individual yogurt packs. I use these things, so I'll put yogurt into here. And then my boys will have a bunch of these in the fridge and I can just basically throw it at them. <laughs> it's less messy too, which is so nice. Um, I got two things of milk, one's here and one's there for my sons. Um, I explain a little bit about my process of thinking with milk and honestly eggs usually in other videos. So I'm not going to really get into that today. But if you have any questions, post them below. Uh, I got myself some almond milk. I think this is new. I think that Walmart just came out with their own brand of almond milk and it was like 30 cents cheaper, I believe. And then I love almond milk creamer. It's so good, you guys. Um, and I tried this week really to be good and get, have coconut milk with stevia and it just wasn't the same. So I picked up some. Uh, I got plain Greek yogurt for me. I will put fruit in it or I'll use it as sour cream. We're out of jelly and usually we have like homemade jelly from my aunt, but I just grabbed that as a backup. Um, this one's for me. No stir or so I'm sorry, stir peanut butter. But I had a hard time getting one that didn't have um, sugar already added, and I don't want one with sugar. Uh, we're just out of some olive oil spray. I ran out of unsweetened coconut, and I've been adding this to my shakes, which has been kind of good, or I'll add it to like my oatmeal or even my yogurt sometimes. It just adds some texture, and it's a healthy fat, so it's pretty good. And we eat a lot of oatmeal, so we ran out of oatmeal. Uh, my boys actually, this is one of the vegetables that they do like, the sugar snap peas. So I got a big bag of those because they're so good. And then I eat a lot of kale too. I just really like kale for some reason with some garlic. And I'll roast up a big batch and um, eat that like with my eggs in the morning or anything. Spinach I like for salads, but then I also put them in my shakes. It's delicious. We're out of onions, so I just picked up a big pack of onions. We have two red peppers in the um, in the fridge, so I think I'm gonna make stuffed peppers using red peppers. And I just felt like I needed an extra one, and then I'll cut these up to eat um, as vegetables raw or whatever. And then that's what I'll do with the carrots. I'll cut those up and have those just ready to eat. And I got some tomatoes because you gotta have some tomatoes in your life with your salads. I just throw them in with things. And then these are still a buck a piece, but um, they were $1.50 last week. They're avocados, in case you're wondering. And they're pretty much ready to use. Well, maybe. Close. Anyway, I was craving some avocado in my life. Um, and then my eggs. I got, we go through tons of eggs, you guys. I think we're thinking of getting chickens, but anyway. That's my food. So this was a little less than $150, which I thought was pretty good. We got a lot of food. Like I said, we're going away at the end of the week, so we will go. We will be going out to dinner for a meal, and then we'll also be um, probably have breakfast included in our hotel, which is nice. But I'm gonna bring snacks and food for like there is a little fridge in the room I already checked, and um, so we'll have some stuff to snack on and things like that. So we might grab like I do have some pitas pita pockets left over which I'll probably roast up and make into chips rather than buying them um, but we'll see about that too I'll show I'll share with you guys my snacks that I'm bringing on like Instagram and Facebook I, I don't think I'll make a whole video but but there you go that's my um, grocery haul and now I'm gonna show you my clothes haul I'm kind of excited about it hey guys sorry I got a little distracted um, but I wanted to show you my clothes haul um, from Walmart and like I said they're really good deals so here we go um, I got their their Faded Glory, which I think is like their brand that Walmart makes and distributes. These are flannels and they're actually men's, but they're really thick actually. Like I'd say they're thicker and more heavy duty than like a soft flannel. I mean, they're soft by, they're definitely soft, but to describe them soft versus durable, I think I'd go with more durable. They only had smalls, which go figure because they're $3 each. So I got myself too. Yeah, they're men's. Yeah, I don't care. But I wear them like, I'll wear them to bonfires a lot in the summer because we're wearing like shorts and tank tops and then it gets cooler. And I also wear them in the winter just around the house or whatever. So I got myself two. So I got that one and then this really pretty blue one. Um, I wish they had larges because I would have bought like a bunch for my husband because he wears flannels a lot. But 
That's okay, I got myself a couple anyway. All right, so this is my like really good find. This was on the $3 rack. They had a bunch of stuff, like I said, on sale. It's a, this is their workout line, Dan Skin, I believe. Um, and look at the back, isn't that cute? So this said it was $5, but it was on the $3 rack and it rang up for a dollar. Yeah, good find, right? I already tried it on, it's wicked hey, cute, it's nice and long. Mom? Yeah, babe. What are you doing? I'm doing a video. A video? Mm-hmm. Can I eat my toast? Yep, eat your toast. Then I picked up a bikini because we're going away to um, a water park hotel at the end of the week and my bathing suits, my upper body's changed a bit, <laughs> to say the least, it's gotten smaller um, since having kids and losing weight. So I got this bikini top. Can you kind of see it's got like padding at the bottom? And I thought it'd be cute. The problem is, is my upper area, my cup size is a small, but my like shoulder width and chest um, or like rib cage is still more of a medium. So. I think I'm gonna have to go get a medium because it was really tight and I don't want to be uncomfortable but we'll have to see how it fits so I didn't try it on there I tried it on here um, but I really like the color <clears throat> and then I had medium bottoms so I got a small top and medium bottoms aren't these cute got like the little butt cinch and everything but 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 when um, bathing suits are wet I know they get looser but this is like a super elastic -y one so I think I'm gonna have to go try on a medium top and a large bottom because this medium bottom just wasn't quite cutting it. It was a little small around the butt cheeks and I'd just rather have that covered a little more. But I love this color so I'll have to see if they still have it so I guess I have to return these. Then I also got these t-shirts were on sale for $3. They're tag free. The brand is George which I've never gotten but they're really soft and like I said for three bucks my husband really liked an old navy brand that was a lot like this a little boy sneaking up so I just got him three. Oh, a band-aid a branch it is branch yeah from trolls no it's, it's, it's Graham Graham mm -hmm. I thought his name was branch he's not branch he's Graham oh, okay Graham so I picked these three up for just nine bucks all together, nine bucks. So we'll hopefully like some. If he doesn't for some reason, I'm gonna leave the tags on and then I'll just return them. But um, like I said, pretty good deals I thought. They had a lot of stuff on sale. I, knowing that we're gonna be gone at the end of the week, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money. Oh, thank you. Oh. Okay, yeah, these are chewy and these apparently. Anyway, um, Knowing that we'd be gone at the end of the week, I knew we'd be going out to dinner probably and maybe doing some shopping up in North Conway. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on extra clothes even if they were on sale because we don't need anything right now. Um, I also got contact paper because I've been doing some crafts and some Mod Podge. Big thing Mod Podge. So needless to say, this stuff and all the clothes was like $42 or $43. And then my groceries were 150 So I thought that was a pretty good day's haul for something I wasn't quite expecting from Walmart. So yeah, all in a good day, day a good day's work. Hey, I, I do love shopping and bargain shopping is like my favorite thing. So thrift stores are my friends and good deals are my friends. I go to the thrift store like every, if I get out of work, I'll go on the weekend and it's nice. Um, but yeah. So anyways, that is all for me today. I just got my workout in and I have a little boy that should be waking up soon. And then I'm gonna play and my sister finds out she's having a boy or girl today, so I'm super excited. So um, I get to be an auntie for the first time in August. Um, so I'm excited. So um, thanks for joining me today. If you guys have any questions, post them below. I've kind of alluded to a couple things. I will post Jordan Page, um, the Budget boot camp, and a link to her down below. And other than that, have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like this haul. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.